I lived there. So tell me about the fire. What's the first thing you noticed? So I was sleeping and uh, my wife wake me up and she said there's a lot of sound outside. So I came outside and uh, I see a lot of firefighters. So uh, I, I immediately took my kids outside and uh, you know we are then we are standing here and amazed to see everything like this is crazy. And uh, how, how did you manage to get your kids out of the fire escape or? Uh, no, by the door because I live right here, so it's not reached on the, the yeah on the ground floor. Uh, and uh, tell me about uh, the fire. Did you see the flames? Yeah, it was uh, now is uh, under control, but before it was crazy. Yeah. Did you see anybody injured? No, I, I don't think so. Nobody is injured, but I see the building is uh, now is clapping down. So I don't know. I hope everything will. The building is coming down. Or that I'm seeing the parts. So hopefully everything will be okay. Think about, uh, how many families evacuated? Have to say more. I think eight to ten or twelve families. Eight to twelve. About how many people? Probably 30 to 40 people. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Nobody appeared uh, injured. Did you see anybody on? No, I did not see anybody on a stretcher or anything. Any idea what might have caused the fire? I heard somebody put the candle. Somebody told me, like, you know, we live here, so so some, uh, somebody told me to put the candle by the wall, and that's why it's caused. Possibly a candle. Yeah, but uh, I don't. I'm not sure. I don't. Did you hear any alarms going off? Uh, smoke alarms or anything? No. Uh, yeah. My. Uh, my yeah, the smoke alarm got turned on and that's why I was scared. Uh, and anything else you want to say? No, just pray, that's all I say. Right. Uh, what's your name sir? My name is Faisal. Uh, can you spell it? F-A-I-S-A-L. That's your first name or? Yeah, that's the first name. Last name is Shah, S-H-A-H. S-H-A? A-H. A-H. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Alright, thank you. Good morning, um, Assistant Chief John Hodgins, that's H-O-D-G-E-N-S. Um, we received a call at 1 o'clock this morning for 10925 Jamaica Avenue for fire. Our units arrived within three minutes and we had fire on the first floor of that address. Fire quickly extended to the space between the top floor and the, in the somewhat of an attic space. We call it the cock loft. And because of that, it, it extended quickly to six other buildings. We had a fire in a total of six buildings at the site. Uh, we're at a sixth alarm assignment. Currently, the fire is under control. That's approximately 200 firefighters on the scene. Um, we had a total of three um, minor injuries to firefighters. We have 40 occupants uh, that lived here displaced by the fire, and currently they're being helped by Red Cross uh, for, to find uh, an, somewhere to go. Um, that's it, right? Can you tell us, was it a residence where this started, or was it a business? The fire started in a commercial occupancy on the, on the first floor, in a business. Was it open at the time, or? No, it's closed. Fire Marshal Chief? Yeah. Can you tell us which business it was? Um, I, I don't I have the name uh, right now, but it was it was in, in the original address of, uh, the, of the fire. Any idea of the fire? The fire marshals are investigating. We, 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 we don't have the cause yet. Talk, to, talk about challenges fighting this one. Um, we had an advanced fire on arrival. Uh, the, the business was closed up um, and it quickly extended into a common area that, that runs um, above the ceiling in these type of uh, old frame structures. Once it gets in there, we have to try to you know get ahead of it. We quickly have to get into the other buildings it's all wood structure, old, so that's that's the challenges. It, it's a, it's a fast-moving fire. You have a, it's not the coldest of nights, but it's still not comfortable for those people who are outside of their homes. What are you guys doing for them? Right now, they're in MTA buses uh, for shelter, and the Red Cross is finding them uh, a place to go. And you mentioned 40 occupants. Yes. And nobody was hurt. No, everybody self-evacuated and. Fortunately, there were there were no injuries to the occupants. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.